welcome back to the channel uh we're in the shop today just working on uh, a car that's getting ready for resale uh, i picked up uh, actually a couple of these this one's a 92 uh 300 see it here we got the hood up in service mode god i love that i mean why don't they do that on all of them i mean just straight up many people don't know this but look at that straight up and down that hood that's liam everybody he just started today this is his first day say hello it, see see he's already he's a natural uh so anyway so uh we're just doing this in the shop today we gotta do a little repair uh he's taping off that side right now to uh we gotta do clear coat the hood we're gonna try to save the hood we're gonna show you how we do that uh there's a little bit of a blemish where the clear coats come off and this fender right here as i can show you right here has been repaired and very poorly uh it looks like they there might have been a little dent under here and then we got to fix this the little uh found it dent over here uh looks a little worse than a shopping cart so we will this whole fender is going to get painted so we'll be able to clean that up and that this got pulled in a little bit too so we got to pull that out uh we'll probably put the uh stud puller on that grind that down and then on the hood here you can see the clear coat is coming off the base coat's in good shape. So I think if we do a little wet sanding here, see another spot right there. It's kind of a weird way to look at this, but uh, <laughs> um, this paint is filthy too. So this whole car needs to be detailed. It's, you can see that it's real bad. And this is the cool part on this car. This, I've never gotten a car that has this on it. It ac actually has concrete in the paint, like on the paint. And then the roof was, I believe they were doing a repair on the roof where it was sitting. And there's more concrete. <laughs> and it was dripping and they, I don't know what they did, but there's concrete in the paint. So we're going to try to get the concrete off of there. So, but yeah, she's filthy. She is filthy. And the roof, it's got, but the money shot. The interior is really nice. Very clean, very clean interior. This car will be for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, try to sell it to Liam, but he doesn't want it. No, he likes Subarus. All right, I got Liam taping off the, uh, we won't show him, we don't want to make him nervous. He's taping off the giant Mercedes squirters. But uh, we just cleaned the hood. Yeah, really can tell, right? Uh, this has been buffed. You can see that paint's nice. But what we're gonna do is right here you can kind of see where the clear coat's coming up right there so what i'm going to do is let me see how many times i can say that what i'm going to do we're going to wet sand this out so we can just clear coat the hood instead of painting the whole hood i'd rather not paint the whole hood so i'm just gonna feather the edge of that you don't want to get too much in here because then you're going to take the base out of it And you want to use it a block because if you don't use a block, it's not flat, and then you're going to dig into the base. You can already see that that's starting to feather in nice. A little better. You may see it when we clear coat a little bit, but again, who wants to paint the whole hood? Yeah, we're getting a little white out of there. Feather, feather. It's gonna clean this paint all up too. This is, this paint is so dirty. Look at all the dirt coming out of that. You guys see that? This is all dirt in the paint. You wanna clear that off because you don't wanna put too big of scratches. We're using 600 right now. I think that's enough. I want to cut it down pretty quick. I have 400 wet sand, but I think that's too much. Get this corner. We keep working this area. Work it, work it. There's another area here where it's starting to bubble up. I've got this all wet sanded down. Liam's doing that side over there. We're going to do the whole, we decided to wet sand the whole hood. There's so much dirt in it. And this is all dirt. And the scotch bright was just getting plugged up. So he's going to get uh, wet below the knees. Is that 
inappropriate. I'm sorry. First day, inappropriate. <laughs> uh, HR is in the bathroom. Yep. Just, that's the HR department. Uh, so uh, I went through a little bit here. My fault. That wasn't his fault. New guy didn't do it. Uh, so I'm just going to be able to touch that up. I might blend the paint up and over on the hood a little bit just to kind of match this fender. We're not going to go into the door. But uh, what I'm about to do now is repair the found it dent and get rid of this guck. I don't know what's going on under here. Oh, body filler's calling. Uh, but we're just gonna clean this up, pull this dent, get rid of the yellow, fix the chip. Uh, there's a little bit of rust on the front here. Probably sand that down, we'll paint it cut line right here. Tape off the bumper, tape off the chrome here, and the cladding on the bottom. Fix this chip, obviously. We're gonna leave that alone on that door. You guys are wondering, I do have the Nerd 2000s on, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna grind this back, get down to metal, so we can uh, pull, this, pull this out as far as we can, and maybe it will help pull this little bump out here. Let's see what happens. That looks great. Much better. Let's leave it like that. That way it looks like an angry alligator got after it. All right, let's go get the stud puller and uh, pull that dent out. All right, we got... We got all those. We used a slide hammer, pulled them all out, and... Mm, it doesn't sound good, does it? Uh, this one was a little tricky. You can see this sticks out a little bit right here, this little bulge. Uh, these are much better. There's a little bit of a crease right there. Might be able to put another stud on there and pull that out a little bit further, but I don't think it's going to come out. But we did get it out a good amount, and now we just need to work on this with a hammer and dolly. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can hammer this down. See what We'll leave these here for now, because we may have to... This, If we hit this, this may cause this to go in. So let's just kind of see what happens. So I got my uh, dolly and my hammer. I'm just gonna see if we can get this to settle down. You don't need much, you don't need to like hammer, hammer down, just, just light. See, it's already coming down. Just holding this behind there. The panel from bouncing and vibrating. It's almost like paintless dent repair. Can't even see it. Buff and go, buff and go. Look at that. And gone. And time. And scene. Looking good. I don't think it needs body filler. Wow. All right, let's get you in there. I'll show you. So it is pretty much gone. There's a little bit of cracking in the paint. That's typical uh, from moving it around a little bit. But again, it's gone. This looks pretty good. We'll put a little body filler in this. And this is supposed to be on an angle like that. 
here as it comes around if you look at the front ooh, fuzzies uh, and they angle back in so we got that pulled out too so we'll just get these broken off you just snap these off the pair of pliers just twist them they come right off all right let's go do that now we're just going to take these off you just clamp them in a pair of ice grips get them in there good and just twist them That one was easy, it just fell off. Now, sometimes they don't come off exactly as they should. That one's on there. We'll just grind it down. Got good penetration on those. Grind those off and flatten that out. Body filler on it. All right, let's get some body filler on there. So we got this sanded back. Uh, we'll sand this back as well. The yellow paint is just a marker for the windshield. But uh, we're going to put some body filler on this now. We got this taped off and, and uh, sanded back. You always want to scuff up the area around it. Uh, if you don't, it won't stick and it will delaminate over time. So we're out right with that. Just mix up some body filler and slap it on. I got the body filler smeared on there. It's all hard. So we're going to sand that back. We'll use the DA real quick. I'm not, you don't need to see that. Uh, and then we'll feather this out, sand this back by hand. And hopefully this will only need one more final coat after that. And we can fine tune it and get some paint on this old girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Got this sanded down with 120. I used 40 grit before that and then went to 120 to smooth it out to get out the pigtails. Those are those little spirally things you get. Uh, and then leveled it out. We got a low spot here, low spot here. This is a high spot, obviously. This is just where I was sanding. You kind of obviously feather it in. So this is a little, we got to fill this in here. We'll clean this up later. It's cleaned up nice here where that was bumped out from where this got pushed in. So I think we're, we're looking good. So we'll get a little fine tuning and fill it in some spots. And then we'll work on just sanding this back, feathering that. Clean that up, put some primer on it, base and clear. So we got some more uh, body filler. I did a little skim coat over here. We'll see how this one sands out. We're gonna do this one by hand. And I'm just now gonna work on this part here and really smooth that out. We'll just feather it out with a with a block. We'll probably do some 120. Don't wanna go too aggressive. I want some deep scratches in that. So I'll get you set up over here and we'll work on that. All right, just gonna block this out to where we can get rid of this this lip from the clear coat that was coming off. We're not gonna mess with much under here. I don't know why this was like this. I thought there was damage under here, but I'm not finding any. This is all factory primer, so. Once we get rid of this lip, this little, bump there, feather it back. We'll go back over this with a less coarse. This is 120. Get some filler on this little ding there that I think happened when this whole thing uh, occurred. Uh, we got this sanded down pretty good. This is, should be the last little bit. We might have to do a little skim coat. Uh, we got this feathered out. We'll get the rest of this sanded down uh, to probably 
320, 400, somewhere in there. Uh, we're not gonna prime the whole panel. We'll prime it here, seal it, and then we'll see it. We have to seal this because this is metal and you have to seal any body filler or it will come through eventually. You'll see it in the panel. Keep working this, sand it down, get nice and flat. And same with that. And uh, yeah, and then we'll put the paint on it. All right, we're doing good here. We got uh, final steps here. What I'm doing right now is I went around with a little bit of putty. It's spot putty, so you can get a little bit of the little chips and stuff uh, that are in the paint. I got a little up here. Uh, got one right here, a little red spot there. And we're gonna sand this one down. We're using 320. Had one there, it's nice and smooth now, same there. And right there, some little pinholes. That's what it's great for, you get it the last step. It is white, you don't see a lot of those, but I like to do it the same on every car. So we're just gonna take care of it the right way. And we're really close. I'm gonna get these down, knock it down with 320. And the rest of it's all 320. We'll hit this with some sealer. And then we'll hit it with white and clear the hood and the fender. Should look pretty good when we're done. The hood, much better. We could probably buff that out and be happy, but we don't have clear coat here. So <laughs> anyways, let's, uh, we're just gonna sand this down. You can see where the little pinholes were right there. They look real close right there. If this was a darker color, black or metallic, you don't want those ever. I like to call this Wreck-It White because white's always the easiest. Doesn't show that much. Any solid colors never show that much. Just gonna give this a quick blast of the, of the 320 and gotta finish taping off the rest of the car. We'll put plastic over the whole car and there's tape. All right, we got the Mercedes pulled in the paint booth. Uh, we got it all taped off, got the plastic all over it. Uh, right now I've got this fender taped off separate from the hood uh, because I gotta prime this. We gotta put sealer over this. If you don't seal that, you'll see all that body work underneath later. Uh, you might see it right away too, because it's white. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mix up some sealer, spray some sealer on it, see if there's any imperfections. Of course there won't be, right? And then we'll pull off the paper and put down the white and clear coat the whole car. We got it all cleaned up with paint prep. I'm just taking a tack cloth. I don't push too hard. You got to put a little pressure on it, but you don't want to push super hard because there is beeswax on these. They usually go over the areas around it to pick up any kind of dust that's there that will blow into the paint. And we're doing primer right now. I really don't want to sand it. <laughs> just want to spray it, wait. Spray some more. <laughs> All right, now it's ready for primer. All right, got the uh, sealer on there. Came out pretty smooth, no dust in it. Looking pretty good. It's starting to dry up here. Got to leave it over about 30 minutes before we hit it with any kind of base coat. Uh, you got to let this gas off. It's not super warm in here. I might get an infrared light on it. It's kind of heated up, gets it dry faster. Uh, just because I want to get this sprayed before I go home tonight. Once that dries, we'll hit that with the base coat. And then we'll remove the paper off the hood here and clear the whole hood into the fender. So it will, like, it will look like it was never done and there was no dent in that corner. All right, let's uh, hurry up and wait now, right? <laughs> real quick, got my mask off, but this is coat number one. It's just a real like, light dust coat. See, uh, hopefully it matches. <laughs> but uh, the bodywork came out nice. We'll hit it uh, two to three more times, probably two more times. I gotta put my mask back on. I don't want to die. All right, it's the next day, and I had to kind of walk away last night because I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but that does not match. <laughs> Even though it's the paint code and it's supposed to, yeah, so. I did clear coat it to see if the clear coat would kind of darken it up. It was so far off from the hood and the fender. The hood's original paint, I believe, uh, the clear coat was coming off. You can kind of see it here. It kind of looks like a bird. It's even got a little eye. I'm gonna paint the whole hood and blend it all in. Uh, it's just, I'm not gonna mess around. Uh, I think this, I'm gonna mix some. And over here right now, I'm mixing uh, two colors together here. Uh, I've got a Volkswagen Ivory and the white from Mercedes. 
So I'm mixing these two together to try to get that color. And you can see this is the original white. And that's the white I have. It's a little more yellow. So that's what I'm trying to go for. I want enough to do the hood. So we're gonna see how close we are. And I think we're getting there. Maybe a little more yellow, but you can see the difference there. That is way off. I was way off. Samsonite. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. I think we need a little more yellow in that. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a little drip on there and see. I don't know. That looks a little bright to me. But I think that looks pretty good. We might have to go with that. Maybe a touch more yellow. We're gonna keep going back and forth and mixing it. We'll get it. We haven't buffed that out yet, but if you look really close, it's the same color. So I matched it, I was able to, to get it. So I pulled the, uh, the tape off this side and I buffed right here. This paint is terrible. We're gonna do a video on this too. This car is absolutely horrible. I mean, there's rust in it and lots of dirt, concrete on the back. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. So i to get you guys in there. This is new. This is all new paint. This is the original paint. Matched it pretty good. White is one of the hardest ones, I think. So we got to clean up the rest of the car and you see that it's pretty dirty. So I'm happy that we're going to unwrap this whole thing, uh, see how she looks uh, complete and give her a bath. She really needs a bath. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to end the video here. This was, uh, this was fun. I'm uh, doing a little repair on the car, a little paint match in the booth we'll do more on this car i'm going to keep going we'll do the full detail and show you that one as well so all right guys thanks so much for watching and uh tune in next time all right